Yo guys, Matt from Upson Mining. So today we got our fifth and final Jazz Miner X4-1U in. And I've been waiting for this for quite some time. I got this from Jingle Mining. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna say I overpaid for it, paid too much for it. Um, and you know, ETC is gonna be flooded with the hash rate. But you know, this is kind of like a long-term bet on Ethereum Classic going up in value. Um, Cause I think Ethereum Classic has a lot of life back into it or a lot of life left in it, I should say. So let's get this downstairs into the Jazz Miner. Um, uh, I guess I got it like a server rack. It doesn't go right in the rack cause these are too long this way. Um, so I'm gonna put it below the rack on a kind of like a cabinet setup that I have down there and get it all hooked up. Okay, so here's where all the jazz miners are. I have a server rack here. I bought this and I was gonna put the actual jazz miners inside, but this server rack is way too shallow. It's only like uh, 14 inches deep. Whereas these jazz miners are around 18, 19 inches deep. So I couldn't use them. So what I did was I got this old desk here and I made a cool kind of jazz miner uh, shelf here. So I got the five jazz miners on the bottom here and they're all wired in up to the PDU here. So we got this 40, wa uh, 40 amp PDU here in the bottom of the little server rack and an enterprise grade uh, gigabit switch up here. Um, and all the wires are coming up around the back here into the uh, rack itself and then into the jazz miners at the back. And as you no can notice here, I actually have five um, 30 amp smart plugs hooked up here so I can shut off each jazz miner independently remotely if I have a problem. On the top here I just got my 3060 LHR rig which is kind of mining Ethereum right now. So um, let's hop onto the computer and let's get this jazz miner all set up. Okay yo guys, uh, Matt from Slum Mining. Here I am on the computer now. So we're going to go and add in that uh, fifth jazz miner. Um, the thing about this is first you gotta do is you actually have to use this thing called advanced IP scanner. So I'm just gonna scan to get the uh, to actually find that jazz miner because there's literally, literally five jazz miners on the network now. So in order to find it, you have to kind of look for um, essentially something which has a um, they got a lot of devices on my network. I got tons of like remote IP cameras, um, smart lighting, everything. So let's see. Um, fortunately, you can't really tell by the manufacturer. So you just kind of got to look for uh, one which has a kind of an expandable login. But if I go a little little further down, you'll see there will be a couple here that can be logged in. For example, I think this one's a jazz miner. So let's go into that one. And I'm going to click on this and uh, try to connect to that. So you right click on it and then you just click on that there so that's going to open that up let's check the miner on that one so this one is jazz miner four so i'm just going to take uh this from the old jazz uh, one of the other existing jazz miners because this is basically the um the wallet and that's the uh the name of the miner that you want to give it to so let's uh, that's the wrong one because that's already hooked up so let's try uh let's try this one here so we'll go let's double click on that um, that's a Katie Box Pro. That's not what we want. I'm just literally going through them one at a time and seeing if we can find the one if you want here. So that's not it. Too. That's a Jazz Miner, but that's a second. If, yeah, so that's a second Jazz Miner. That's not the one we actually want. Let's go down here. You kind of got to go hunting for it. And then you can actually uh, bookmark the IPs, um, but sometimes with DHCP which is dynamic host configuration protocol, it'll automatically sometimes refresh the IP and you'll lose the bookmark. So if you wanna bookmark these, I recommend setting a bookmark. And I kinda did that with the DHCP and it was, it was holding for a while, but then it would renew the lease on the IP address and it would just kinda lose the IP. So if you're gonna connect, so this is a, this is, it looks like a, this is a Katie Box Pro again. See, so look, they all look very similar. So that's not it. Let's check this one here. So that is, uh, Jazz Miner 3, so that one's already hooked up. Let's try this one here. This one is Jazz Miner 1, so that's not it either. Let's 
probably this one here. Yep, default password is root and username is root for these jazz miners. Go in here. Okay, so let's go here. We're gonna go to miner. Um, we're gonna set this as Ethereum for now and we're gonna put it at 200. We're not gonna overclock because it's kind of hot in the basement still. So I'm just going to basically put in this is Jazz Miner 5, uh, and this is URL here. I'm on two miners for that one. We'll go do that. And just put in a password. Okay, and then go down here. We hit update. And then it's going to take roughly half hour for it to, I guess, cache the DAG and get the. Uh, the hash it going. Okay, so I, I waited a few minutes here. It hasn't been a half hour yet, but as you can see, we got the uh, stratum set up here, the URL, um, the user, which is like, once again, I said it's just the uh, the address of the Ethereum wallet um, and also the name that you want to give to that. And then uh, it'll just start showing here the works and it'll just start slowly build up, build up, build up, build up. Like that'll turn eight to 12. If we go to an existing miner that's been running for a while now, if we go over here, on the fourth one, we can see there's 12,000, zero reject right now, and an average uh, hash rate of 547 mega hash. Uh, let's go over here and check the pool, actually, to see um, for the pool uh, for that guy. These are all mining ETH to BTC on Ethereum, uh, sorry, in two miners right now. So if we go down here, we can see there's Jazz Miners 1, 2, 3, 4, and they're about over 500 mega hash per. Uh, the fifth one isn't added yet because it takes, like I said, about a half hour, and once it's submitted a handful of shares to the pool, it'll start showing up there. Now, I guess the question on uh, what the value is right now, because uh, they've been going down in price over and over again. So, yeah, uh, 4099 it's really cheap compared to what it, what it was before. Um, like I said, Ethereum Classic is one of those things where it's, I guess everything is speculative mining right now. So you can be in favor of uh, GPU mining only because, you you know, you, you could use the old adage where you basically be like, well, I can mine this coin or I can mine that coin or I can mine this coin or I can mine that coin. But the fact of the matter is we don't really know what's going to happen when the merge happens. Um, this is old news. been repeated a gazillion times, so I'm not going to repeat it over and over again. But that being said, I think Ethereum Classic, like uh, a lot of the other coins, do have a lot of uh, does have a lot of potential. Like it did spike a lot last week. Up to over 40 now it's down back to again 37 but if you look at the month um trend here it's still significantly up more than it was it was on the 14 just about a month ago and it's gone up and it's kind of leveled out here i think it's found a new support level um it's been sitting at that support level between uh you know mid 30s to low 40s for at least let's see what is this 28th yeah at least a week or two now and that's pretty good. So once it hits a plateau where it can kind of get some sideways action on this, you can kind of see it moving forward here. That's usually a good sign um, that it will either go up or go down at some point, hopefully up. Uh, if you look here, we did have sideways action from the beginning of May where it kind of like roughly remained the same and then it spiked back up. But then we had sideways action here and when it dropped right back down, right? So it's kind of like one of those things where you never really know what's going to happen with crypto. You just kind of hedge your bets and you look at the overall, you just zoom out the macro view here. If you look at the macro view, obviously, I've said this a thousand times, the highest was actually in the 160 range or something ridiculous very high right um so i think it'll go back to at least the levels here where it was here even at, at the spike so it was 60 dollars here and it spiked even higher when ethereum merge happens who knows this being the next literally the world's next biggest ethereum uh, et hash uh, project i think there's gonna be a lot of attention moving into ethereum classic i'm not gonna do another video on it because i've I spoke about this a million times over that i think ethereum classic long term is a good way to bet your money on uh, these jazz miners and these jazz miners like i said you can mine for over six years like the dag file size big size ethereum um check it out here if you look here it's at 4.9 um so there so for for ethereum uh 49 4.984 gigabytes once we hit five you're not going to be able to mine ethereum anymore on these uh ethereum classic uh, sorry these jazz miners 17th of August, so that gives us like what? That's really close. That's coming up on like maybe next Wednesday. That's really fast. So I'm mining Ethereum uh, as long as much as I can. I'll probably switch to Ethereum Classic before everyone else does. Maybe even midweek, just so I can get a, a head start on all the other five gigabyte miners to get you know stack my bags a little bit more in Ethereum Classic because I think uh, we're gonna see some interesting things happen with um, the Ethereum. 
difficulty, uh, especially next Wednesday. So keep your eye open for next Wednesday, August 17th. Um, this difficulty will probably go up. So here we are here today at 394 terahash. That could go up. It could go up quite a bit. Um, I don't think it'll go up double, but I think it could go up maybe a t 100 terahash or something even. Um, we'll see. We'll see next Wednesday. I'll do a video on it, I guess. But when that theory, when that when that hash rate, sorry, when that difficulty does go up, that's going to reduce the rewards, right? Um, if you take a look here at the, so that's the difficulty. Sorry, the hash rate here is 30.37 terahash. So the difficulty will go up uh, as the uh, hash rate goes up as well. So, like I said, keep an eye out for. Let's look at the month view here. Yeah, it did go up a little bit here. Let's look next week. This is probably going to spike it as well. Uh, but once it does, um, like I said, I'm I'm going to be switching over to Ethereum Classic, and Ethereum Classic, uh, you can mine on five gigabytes. Like I said, it's a long time. Twenty second of October two thousand twenty. That's over six years. So these five jazz miners that I got running, I'm going to leave them on Ethereum Classic for six years solid, guys. Six years solid. I think that's gonna. Depending on the Ethereum Classic goes up and goes down, and the difficulty and the hash rate goes up and goes down, it's gonna be a wild ride. We're gonna have to see what happens. But I mean, this is a beast of my Ethereum Classic Jazz Miner setup, and uh, I'm hoping it pays off. I'm hoping it pays off, and I'll let you guys know in six years if it paid off or not. So, you got the patience to subscribe to this channel? You should subscribe now, and like, comment, and subscribe. And then. Uh, when 2028 comes along, I'll give you an update whether or not this was a good bet or not. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you like this video. Talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.